International play day manai gena aji June 11 then Naga Hospital Courtyard inaugurate Kurishe. Itu homoi Nagaland Legislative Assembly laga member Dr. Tsilhutu or Hutsopara even te ahishe aro bachakhan laga cognitive development kane inaga initiative khan lagi kushe. Emily para Kohima Smart City itu initiative lua ke appreciate Kurishe. Sudipto Barua, Program Associate WRI India Para, Itu Homoi Kohima Laga NNC Story Kushe, Aro Global Shapers Kohima Para, Tinta Self Tinta Shelf Library Project Opor, Jankari Dishe. Parkto Kohima Smart City Development Limited Para, Technical Partner WRI, Aro Global Shapers Kohima Logode Miligina Banaishe. Well, for me as a representative to the government, representing this city. It's a proud, proud moment for me. It's a privilege to be in any sort of development, be it governmental, be it private, when a facility is created for a common purpose, for a common use. It's a proud moment for me. And I can proudly say that such facility is available in our city. Well, today, this project from the smart city called Nurturing Neighborhood Challenges. Setting up this type of a play center for the kids on this uh, international play day. You see, this, the learned people, they say that the best way for the brain to learn is by playing, not by studying. And the memory, memory that you gain from playing remains for a long time. When a child is allowed to play in this kind of establishment, you see the child knows that it belongs to everyone. So a sense of community develops. When they go and play with, in any of the items, they know that if someone is ahead of them, they let them first go and they take their chances. So they learn the concept of sharing and cooperation. And when they play, they find some difficulties. Now they develop a sense of having some other innovative thoughts that if I grow up and develop something, I'll develop it this way, that way. That's how it develops their brains. So setting up such a center for the kids and more so when they come with their parents and play in these centers or unit. See, they develop a strong bond between the child and the parents. So I'm very happy that the smart city has decided to choose Nagao Hospital as their project center. And we can see that it is well done. And today, in the presence of so many people here, with thanks to the Almighty God, I would like to inaugurate this center. It is an immense pleasure to have you all here today for the inauguration of the courtyard space at Naga Hospital and the celebration of International Play Day. Uh, this park has been envisioned and brought to life by the collaborative efforts of uh, Kohima Smart City Development Limited with WRI as our esteemed technical partners and global shapers community under the Nurturing Neighborhood Challenge. This initiative, uh, spearheaded by the Ministry, aims to create a vibrant and nurturing spaces for our communities, particularly for children and families. Uh, the Nurturing Neighborhood Challenge is an innovative initiative designed to transform urban areas into more child-friendly spaces by focusing on the needs of young children and their caregivers. 
The challenge, the challenge promotes uh, the development of safe, accessible and inclusive neighborhoods. This initiative supports cities in creating environments where children can thrive, play, develop, foster a sense of community and well-being. Koima Smart City, uh, being among the top 10 city, winning cities in India, selected by the esteemed jury in 2022 for the Nurturing Neighborhood Challenge, this recognition stands as a testament to our commitment to enhancing the quality of life for our citizens and creating an inclusive, sustainable urban uh, space. Uh, today's inauguration is not just about opening a new park, it is about fostering a sense of community, promoting health and well-being and providing a safe, enjoyable environment for our children to play and grow. Uh, looking ahead, Koima Smart City is dedicated to building more parks and open spaces in and around our city, ensuring that every citizen has access to green recreational areas. These efforts are part of our broader vision to create a sustainable, smart and livable city for all. We are delighted to align this inauguration with the International Pay Day, a day dedicated to the promotion of play and its crucial roles in the physical, emotional and social development of individuals, especially children. Play is an essential part of healing and well-being. And it is our hope that this new courtyard will serve as a safe and inviting space where children, adults alike can enjoy in a joyful and restoration activity. Thank you. Uh, as we move forward uh, with this program, I would like to invite my colleague Program Associate from uh, World Resource India, Architect Subhikto Barwa, to share his insight on Koima's Nurturing Neighborhood Challenge storytelling. Thank you so much for gathering here. Uh, my name is Subhikto Barwa. Uh, I am working here in Koima for the past three years now, associated with Koima Smart City uh, under the Ministry's uh, Nurturing Neighborhood Challenge. So back in 2021, I'll just give you a brief uh, you know, story about how this NNC journey began. So, uh, Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs in 2020 launched this Nurturing Neighborhood Challenge uh, in which they wanted to create child-friendly cities. Because in normal cities these days, when they, when they are creating these 100 smart cities across India, usually the kind of development is focused on infrastructure development. But sometimes our neighborhoods lag behind. Uh, the basic amenities like caregiver facilities and uh, Anganwadi centers, primary health centers, and our basic needs for the children, which is parks to play in, these are not catered to, you know, in the, in the larger goals of a city. So, through this nurturing neighborhood challenge, the ministry wanted to focus on uh, creating such neighborhoods which foster the grow, uh, development of young children in, in neighborhoods. So, back in 2020, this challenge was launched, and 65 cities participated in this, and 25 cities made to the cohort phase. From that cohort phase. All these 25 cities uh, created five pocket uh, pro projects across their uh, cities. And after this, uh, there was a jury and top 10 cities were selected. So Kohima is one of the cities which came into the top 10 of this challenge uh, back in 2021. And since then, we have been scaling up our efforts to create such child-friendly infrastructure throughout uh, the city of Kohima. So I'll just take you through the story of Kohima. Uh, this uh, image that you see is from uh, Forest Colony. Uh, we converted a, a dumping space, which was on the side of a very steep road, into a child-friendly pocket park. And also, since this was a very steep turning road, uh, the vehicles used to move at a very fast speed here. So this uh, traffic calming child-friendly paint automatically slows the traffic down and uh, uh, this becomes a child-friendly street. So uh, this was done under the leadership of CEO Sir back in 2021. Uh, so this is the vision of Koima and we want to create safe, accessible, inclusive, playful environment for infant, toddlers and caregivers. This is one new term I am tagging for you all. It's called ITC, infant, toddlers and caregivers. Uh, specifically children between the age of 0 to 5 year olds, uh, which also access community and recreational spaces. So the idea of creating such spaces is uh, science. Uh, our uh, research and medical research says that between the ages of 0 to 5, uh, uh, the uh, brain development of a uh, child happens 80%. So that is the time where if you provide proper play and learn opportunities outdoors, uh, basically uh, the children will uh, uh, end up becoming more successful adults and more confident and uh, their uh, overall motor skills as well as overall cognitive development will take place. Uh, just, yeah, I'm just wait for the backup. Yeah. No. 
I find the smart city in Kohima has done a lot. And this, all these works are possible because you have a very good CEO. And I'm also happy that Naga Hospital Authority, the MD, has allowed the NNC to do their project. And as I said while inaugurating the project, it is only true play that the brain learns and the brain is the happiest organ in our body when we try to teach it by playing, not by studying. As the definition of health goes, that it is about your social, your physical, and your emotional well-being. When you allow, allow a child to play, it improves all these aspects, but most importantly, the cognitive aspect is vastly improved. And when children come out to play in such facilities, they learn that in the society, they are not alone. They need to cooperate to avail the facilities. They need to take turns to enjoy. And they also learn to give. And it improves their friend circle. It improves their confidence. So I'm happy that the smart city is doing a lot for the city and I hope in the near future we will see more of this type of development for the children and I as a representative of this city I will also try to identify places and put a proposal to the smart city and during the able leadership of our CEO, Engineer Kaza. I hope such more programs will come up. Thank you so much for having me here, and it's a wonderful evening. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So uh, now, uh, uh, Naga Hospital Authority has a small price distribution. Uh, so I'll give time to the DJK. After which, we'll give time to uh, the MD, sir, to it began in the year 2014, where the initiation of a global play day came into existence. And this was because of the initiative and the movement that began through a single professor. He was a psychology professor. And he was a professor in the Boston University. And he happened to give a talk. I think uh, many of you have come across one uh, show called the TED Talk. So he was, he talked in that thing. And his theme of topic was decline of play. And that's how the movement began. And his concept of play or play day was that play is a very important concept for a growth of a child. And because it not only concentrates, or not, it does not only emphasize on the growth, as I mentioned earlier, but it also nourishes the well-being. And not only in terms of physical and mental, but also emotional well-being. So that is the concept that he brought into the picture. And ever since that time, for the world, for the, it was no turning back. And it turned out to be what you call 